guys, I'm Laurie Vitali. On this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a great pasta dish. Perfect if you've got any leftover grilled vegetables from the past weekend, if you've been, you know, if you did a big barbecue. Um, I'm calling this Paca de Primavera because I, I didn't know what to call it, and as sweet subscribers told me on Twitter, that's what I should call it. So that's what I'm calling it. But basically it's just pasta with some grilled zucchini and eggplant and a really yummy homemade tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna dollop it with some um, ricotta. <laughs> Freshly grated parm, fresh basil, maybe a little nut on top, almost like a deconstructed pesto. It's fabulous. Absolutely fabulous with leftover veggies from the grill, your, your outdoor grill, because it gives you more of that smoky flavor. But an indoor grill works just as well. So let's get started. The ingredients you need are not very many. I just have some sliced zucchini. I've got some sliced eggplant. This is a cubanelle pepper that I've just sliced and seed de seeded. And I've got some pacari. You can use any pasta shape you like. Lots of parm. I've got some garlic, onion. This is my homemade canned tomato sauce olive oil, salt, and a few more ingredients that I'll show you in just a bit. Okay, I'm going to preheat my grill pan to high. I have a little bit of oil in my grill pan and I'm just gonna brush it to make sure it's covering every side. I normally would always, um, you always wanna, you know, you always want to grease your vegetables instead of the, your grill, but since my eggplant is so small, I don't feel like brushing every single one of them, so that's my story, I'm sticking to it. But you can see I just, put a little bit of the, the uh, extra on my plate. I'll just use this to brush the uh, opposite side. I have a big pot with some water coming up to a boil. That's from the pasta. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just grill my peppers until, you know, until they've got some grill marks on them. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the zucchini and the eggplant. I'm not gonna salt them or anything. It's gonna take about, I would say, just a few minutes on each side. And then I'll take these off the grill and I'll bring my skillet over and we'll get going on making the sauce. All right, now to make the sauce, I need some olive oil and a big skillet, one that's big enough to hold everything in. I need my onion and my garlic. And you can tell that it's not sizzling yet and that's because I want to really infuse the olive oil with the onion and the garlic flavor. So I'm just gonna cook these on moderate heat until they start to sizzle, they cook down a little bit. And I also forgot to mention a really key ingredient in this recipe, which is smoked paprika. Now it sounds a little bit odd, but really, Smoked paprika is just the most incredible, incredible, intense, smoky, peppery flavor. It's not spicy, but it's really smoky, which is great if you're trying to mimic something that's been maybe in, cooked in a wood-burning oven or you know a, a grill, a charcoal grill or a smoker or something like that. This came to me when I had the most delicious roasted tomato um, sauce while I was in Italy that was the tomatoes were cooked in a brick oven like long pizzas and it had that really beautiful like tomato-y um, I don't even want to say charcoal but like that wood fire flavor I can't replicate that because I don't have a wood burning oven so this does the trick and it is fantastic and I also like to point out that that restaurant was my uncle's restaurant just saying just saying, tooting his own horn, no, I'm tooting the horn for him. It was magnificent. So that's a great way to add a little bit of that smokiness. It comes together wonderfully. So I'm just gonna keep an eye out on my onions and my garlic and I'll show you the next step in just a minute. All right, that looks great. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. Now these are tomatoes that I canned myself. I'm not expecting you to have these on hand, but um, just use like regular canned tomatoes will do. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of my smoked paprika now at this point. You don't want to add a lot because believe it or not, smoked paprika is really pungent. So I think a half a teaspoon is perfect. But if you want to add a little bit more than that, then I suggest you taste it first and then you add a little bit more. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my pepper. Now the reason why I'm adding my pepper whole like this is because I'm not going to actually um, serve the pepper with the pasta. I just want the flavor uh, because I don't like the skin of the pepper here, but I like the flavor of it. So once the sauce is done, I'm gonna take the pepper out. I'm gonna eat it myself as a cook's treat because that's what one does when there are some treats around. <laughs> and you always have to have a cook's treat, it's important. Now I'm going to put a lid on the sauce and let it cook on about medium low for about 15 minutes. Five minutes before the sauce, five minutes before the 15 minutes are up, I'm going to add my zucchini and my 
eggplant. I just don't want those to overcook too much. And I'm also going to cook my pasta in that meantime. So within the next 15 minutes, the sauce will be done. You add the eggplant and the zucchini. When the sauce has about five minutes left, the pasta will get done at the same time and then we'll pretty much pull the whole thing together. My sauce looks amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of the starchy cooking water. It looks so good and it smells even better. And then I've also cooked and drained my pakiri. Now this is not a super saucy dish, but remember it's got a lot of flavor, especially smoky flavor from that paprika. So now you want a total of about a third of a cup or so of the starchy cooking water. And now you're just going to cook this. Hold on. I forgot. My basilico. I'm just going to add a few pieces of basil here. I'm also going to add some more on, very, on the very top and a good grating of parm at this point right here and I'm just going to let everything cook together for a couple of minutes. It's always good to let the pasta cook with the sauce for just a couple minutes so that it, everything kind of adheres better and then we'll serve it up. If only you were here to smell how incredible this smells. It's out of this world. This is how I like to serve it. You have your pasta, right? Which, this is really big ribbons of pasta or whatever you want to call it. Not a ribbon, but this is a really big pasta, so it's deceiving. You've got your pasta. What I have here is some good ricotta. It's some shredded, more freshly grated parm. You can tell that I'm a little bit too excited. You add a dollop of that right there because as you eat this, it is going to mix in fresh basil. This is little baby leaves of basil. It's almost going to be like a deconstructed pesto. Some toasted nuts. You can use walnuts. You can use pecans. I really love that. Okay. A little bit more parm. A drizzle of olive oil. Not too much. You don't want the dish to be greasy. And that is one of the best pasta dishes you'll make this year. And I guarantee it. This is unbelievable to me. You want that ricotta to start melting. I need a little bit of, that's okay. Beyond. Beyond what you could possibly imagine. Mmm. It is smoky. It is creamy from the ricotta. It's not heavy at all. The smokiness is perfectly on point. The veggies just give you some such a nice mellow flavor with the pasta. And I love that it's not a super saucy pasta. That way nothing gets lost. Everything kind of just really sticks to the pasta and that makes me very happy. Let me give it one more bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh God. Mm. Please make this this week. It is show stopping. Go to LauraInTheKitchen.com and get the written recipe. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. I'm going to go stuff my face. I'll see you next time. Bye.